All right, quarter of seven now. Big weekend coming up here in New England. One of the most historic college football rivalries coming to Foxborough. Yeah, the 124th annual Army versus Navy football game will be played at Gillette Stadium on Saturday. But before that big game, there was this big game. <laughs> City of Boston hosting their annual, the third annual Army-Navy flag football game. Yeah, and correspondent Ted Wayman was at the game this weekend and joins us now with more. This game had the national anthem, an official coin toss, a chain gang, and college referees. It's the kickoff to Army-Navy week. It might be flag football, but these midshipmen and cadets stationed in Boston are playing for. Bragging rights are important for all of us. So, we, you know, if you're, if you're Army or you're Navy, 364 days of the year, you're, you're rooting for that other team. These days matter. And they're playing for this trophy, but it's all about the rivalry Army versus Navy. It's just very special. It's almost the first thing you learn when you show up as a midshipman or the words go Navy beat Army and it really is just ingrained in you. This flag football game is really the pregame for next weekend's big Army Navy game at Gillette Stadium. It's the first time in 124 years that the game's being played in Massachusetts. Go, go, go. It's all about camaraderie, esprit de corps, patriotism and sportsmanship. Army won this battle over Navy 22 to 6. It's been called the greatest rivalry in, in college sports and I think it absolutely lives up to that. No pressure there as the Army Black Knights and Navy midshipmen get ready for a national audience next weekend in Foxborough. All right, so a reminder here, Saturday, December 9th, 3 p.m., you can watch the Army-Navy game right here on WPRI 12, and uh, we'll have all the excitement leading up to it and how this is impacting the local economy with so many people flooding to our area to be at the game and participate in however way they will be. So uh, be sure to stay with us all week and, of course, for the game coverage itself.